What's up? This is Alex, DJ Couch King. If you're a YouTuber or a filmmaker or a recording artist who's working in less than perfect acoustic conditions, odds are you've probably run into some noise and some hiss in your recordings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove or reduce that hiss and noise like a pro. <laughs> Okay, welcome to my workspace. You might notice a slight change in the tone in my voice, which is because I've changed mics. When I'm recording my YouTube videos, I typically use a Zoom H5 with a shotgun capsule attached to it. What you're hearing now is my AKG P220 condenser microphone that I have for streaming, recording vocals, those sort of things. I'm using Logic Pro in this tutorial, however, this should work with any digital audio workstation that allows you to run VST or audio unit plugins. What you will need to download is a plugin called Isotope RX. So let me open that up so you can see what it looks like. So this is the RX5 Denoise plugin. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to capture a noise profile. Once I have the noise profile captured, I'm going to be able to reduce it. I can adjust the threshold where it's looking for the noise and I can adjust the amount of reduction. So for now, I'm just gonna leave those at the default values. So here's a bit of the audio from the intro that I recorded. Let me play that back so you can hear what it sounds like straight out of the Zoom. If you're a YouTuber or a filmmaker or a recording artist... Who now you can hear already the level is just, it's too low. I like to leave myself a little bit of headroom when I'm recording. So the first thing I'm going to do is gain this up so that it's at a usable level. In order to do that, I just double click on the file. That will open up my editor down here. And under functions, I have an option that says change gain. What I'm gonna do now is search for the maximum, and it found the highest peak, which is at minus 13 dB. So what I need to do is gain that up by about 11, so that I get just two to three dB of headroom. I can see already from looking at the waveform that this is gonna be much closer to where I want it to be for the, my final production. So first thing I need to do is go find a spot that has some of that hiss and that noise from the Zoom preamp. So uh, this looks like a nice quiet spot over here. Let me bypass the plug in here. I don't know how well you can hear that on the YouTube video, but there is some hiss and some noise there. So first what I need to do is activate the plugin, come back to the, this area here where it's quiet, and I'm going to press this button that says learn. And what that's going to do is actually record some of that noise into this plugin so it knows what it's looking to reduce. Now I just hit play. Now you can see there, I captured some of my voice. That's not what I want. So one thing that I can do here is loop this part where there's no breaths, nothing weird. Sounds like a good spot there. Good, and I'm gonna hit learn again. And now it's captured just the noise, not me breathing, not me talking, nothing else. So now that I've captured the noise, let me bypass it. You can see it's almost gone entirely. So we don't want to take it completely out because that just sounds unnatural. Even when they're making films, movies, things like that, they tend to add a little bit of room noise back into the recordings to make it sound more natural and, and so you don't get the sort of claustrophobic feeling from the audio. But let's go back to the beginning and let's hear what it sounds like. If you're a YouTuber or a filmmaker, or a recording artist who's working in less than perfect acoustic conditions. You can hear it sounds pretty clean. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the reduction to just a, an insane amount so you can hear what happens when you go too far with this. YouTuber or a filmmaker or a recording artist who's You can hear it starts to make my voice sound really nasally and really bad, so you wanna be careful about how much reduction uh, you're using here. So the threshold also kinda of tells you where to start looking for the noise. Uh, but I found that uh, that sounds pretty good just left at zero, provided that you gain up your audio before you capture the noise profile. So I'm going to bring the reduction all the way down and then start to bring it up as I'm listening. If you're a YouTuber or a filmmaker or a recording artist who's working in less than perfect acoustic conditions, right around 13 or 14, I start to hear some of that unnatural sort of nasally sound to my voice. 
So I'm going to leave it right there. Listen one more time. If you're a YouTuber or a filmmaker or a recording artist who's working in less than perfect acoustic conditions, that sounds pretty good to me. It sounds pretty clean and it doesn't sound like it's affecting my voice too much. I prefer to use the plug-in version of this rather than doing it in the RX editor because as I'm starting to EQ and compress and limit the audio, I can come back to this and I can make adjustments at, in real time. It is kind of a CPU hog, so this is not something that you're going to want to have several instances of inside of your recording session. If you have any questions about this or you're confused about this plugin or anything about it, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for checking this video out. Hopefully you learned something useful from it. If you like this video and want to see more tutorials and videos like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Peace.